welcome to today's video. Um, I want to talk today a little bit about the Q saw. So the Q saw, uh, Q means bridge, is the bridge part of the arm that we use to control the opponent. Now, many people, they're not fully aware of the diverse possibilities actually of the Q-saw and how to use it. Usually there's two parts, right, of the Q-saw. Front one, the backward. Backward part here also is called like a Yido saw, the second part of the, of the Q-saw. But the frontal part here of the Q-saw, and also, by the way, the middle part itself, but that will be the topic of another video, but the frontal part here of, of the Q-saw, the hand, yeah, the fingers and the thumb are often overlooked uh, in, in terms of chi saw and which actually it is a very important part for controlling the opponent. Yeah? Let me give you some idea. Yeah? If you do remember my shoulder hit video of the fourth section, we'll take the fourth section of the sinum tau again as an example. And for example here, the on sa movement, right? If you see here the on, some movement, in Tai Chi Chuan, an, right? Now, we have the thumb here. I'm aware of it. Bend it a little bit and a little bit downward like that. So I have the position like that for the control. I will show you uh, on pictures what I mean and the application uh, with Sifu Peter. And then the same goes for the for the Fuxal, yeah, if I have the Fuxal in like in our system, and also by the way in the Long Ting Wing Chun system, when they do the pulling attack, one of the, the first basic attacks of their first section, uh, Chi Sao, it's very important to take note of the last three fingers, whereas most people grab with the whole hand. There are so many techniques, right, that make really good use of the Q Sao. So we have the toxal, see, same thing here with the, with the thumb. We have the double lanzal, same thing, yeah? It's a very good uh, controlling technique. And then in other forms, yeah? for example, in Wang Chun, the eternal spring system, uh, or also known as the sapyat sao, you have other parts, sections, that are very good controlling techniques. And interesting, exactly the same controlling techniques are found in the Yang Tai Chi Chuan forms under uh, other name, right? You have fist under the elbow, right? They have their position like that, the application, uh, the application is exactly, exactly the same as in the Wang Chun. And funnily enough, maybe uh, anecdote, you know, <coughs> uh, Wang Chun, eternal spring, was also known as the Tai Chi Chuan from the south. So it is actually more important than many people realize, right? So let's say here, yeah? I have here the on sao and I do it without that thumb control. Then he can just come out and hit me, right? With a quad choy back fist or fax out to my throat, right? But with the, with the thumb here in place, I have the control, he cannot. I feel it immediately, right? And maybe he goes around with the hook there. Yeah? I have the finger control here, yeah, which can control his whole position. If I sink the chi, yeah, he, he goes down, right? So a lot of control there. Then with the grips, it has to do with, with the tendon, the muscle, right? If you grab with the whole hand and you want to control, I have much less power than when I use just the frontal two fingers and the thumb. Yeah? The same here, I would, if I would grab with the whole hand is much less control and power than with the last three fingers, okay? Then transition, yeah? Many people, they, they, they use this in the dum wooden dummy, right? They go straight up with the toxal. If you see me, when I do the wooden dummy, right? I do the toxal, it's always forward, always to the central axis of the wooden dummy. And with my thumb, I control the side of the arms, yeah? That's how, for example, in Chisa, right, or an application, right, I would grab so with the tok, yeah? This is a very good control here. And from here, you see how it all fit together. 
From the talk, I go to the LAN. You see that? And I have the, and I have the control, yeah? Same here, you see, for example, here, he comes with an attack, right? I have my chamzal. From the chamzal, I go to the toxal. From the toxal, I go to the LAN cell, right? This is just all uh, controlling techniques from the Q-cell and the second part of the Q-cell, the Yido cell, okay? Now, hope you enjoyed this video and see you next week.